chasing me! This way! Even shadows fear the light! Even in the darkest places, hope finds a way to shine. Every step feels heavier, but I can't stop now. No, this isn't the end. This is where we rise. Keep going! One step, then another. I won't give up. That's it. You're almost there. Keep going. Take this, and you'll never be alone. Thank you. Yep, that was made with Sora 2. And guess what? I'm about to show you how to create your own stuff with consistent characters throughout. Seriously, don't click away. If you're watching this, I need to see this. Let's get into it. So here's the deal. Text-to-video can't keep characters consistent yet. That's why we're going to use Google AI Studio to create consistent character images instead. Check this out. I've already generated this base image that I'll edit for different scenes. So I wrote out my story and had ChatGPT arrange it into scenes. I also asked ChatGPT to add all the dialogue basically telling me which character says what in each scene, and it organized everything from scene 1 to 10. Now, here's where it gets cool. I'm using LM Arena, which is totally free by the way, and Claude Opus to write prompts for Google's Nano Banana to edit each scene. But here's the smart part. I don't write the prompts myself. I've trained Claude Opus to write unique prompts for each scene based on what's happening in the story. So Claude already knows exactly how I want each scene to look, and it creates custom prompts that match what ChatGPT laid out. Every scene gets its own specific prompt. They're all different, but follow the same style I taught Claude. This way, I just copy and paste the prompts Claude generates. Huge time saver. Okay, so this was my base image, but here's the problem. If I'd told NanoBanana to drop this into a totally different scene, it would have messed everything up. It tries to blend the old background with the new one, and, trust me, it looked terrible. The goal was keeping the boy and rabbit consistent. I didn't care about the background. So, first thing I did, remove that background completely. With a clean background, I could put these characters anywhere. All I did was grab the prompt Claude wrote and paste it in. So it generated the image with the prompt I pasted, added the background exactly how I wanted. But there's one thing I needed to fix. In the second scene, it's the rabbit who's supposed to speak. The dialogue was, this way, even shadows fear the light. So I needed to make sure the boy's mouth was closed, because later when we animate this in Sora, it'll be way easier to make the right character talk. This gives us more control, otherwise Sora might get confused and make the wrong character speak the dialogue. So here's what I did. I made the boy close his mouth and had the rabbit open his mouth, like he's about to say the line. So that's exactly how I generated all the images for each scene. I went through every single image and tweaked anything that needed fixing before moving on to the next step. I hope everything's crystal clear so far. No confusion, right? Before we jump into the next part, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. Google Studio just got an update, so now you can check out the new models, compare different models side by side, set your aspect ratio to whatever you need, and adjust the creativity slider. Now let's move on to how we can animate our images into a video. So I'm going back to Claude and telling it, we've got our images from the prompts you provided. Now we need new prompts to turn each image into an animated video scene. We'll add dialogue and bring each image to life. Write each prompt to match our story and follow this style. Then I share a reference prompt that actually works. I've tested several so I know what works and what doesn't. So it gave me prompts for all the scenes, but I manually tweak some of them. This is how I wrote the prompts for turning images into videos in Sora 2. Just a heads up, Sora currently doesn't let you use photorealistic people for image-to-video. 
If you're not satisfied with what it generated, there's actually a way you can edit it. After you generate the video, it'll be sitting in your drafts, so you need to post it first. Then, click on Remix. From there, you can ask it to change the scene, the voice, the music, sound effects, whatever you need. So yeah, that's how you create consistent characters using image to video. Hopefully you get the idea of how it works. If you're still confused about anything, drop a question in the comments, or just watch this through again. It's really straightforward once you get the hang of it. Alright, now I'm going to give Claude the character descriptions for the boy and the rabbit, and ask it to include these features in every prompt to keep them consistent across all the scenes. But this time, instead of using images, we're using text descriptions of the characters. We'll write prompts the same way we did for the image to video process. Same story, same dialogue. So here are the prompts for all 10 scenes of our rabbit and boy story. Alright, so now I'm taking all 10 prompts that Claude gave us and pasting them into the Sora 2 prompt box. Then we'll let it do its thing and generate videos from all of them. Alright, we've got all 10 scenes ready. Now let's see the difference. Image to video versus text to video and how well each method maintains character consistency in Sora 2. <laughs> Shadows fear the light. Are you sure it's safe? Absolutely. Trust the glow, little friend. Bravery isn't about no fear. It's about crossing anyway. If courage is out there, I'll find it. Sometimes the darkest places hide the brightest hope. Every step feels heavier. But I can't stop now. No, this is not the end. This is where we rise. Give up. Keep this with you, and you'll never be alone. <laughs> so that was text to video, and it couldn't keep the characters consistent. But interestingly, it added some dialogue that I didn't even include in my prompts. All right, time to test out Cameo. This is Sora 2's feature where you can drop yourself or your friends into AI videos as actual characters with your real face and voice. So here's what we're gonna do for fun. Sam Altman becomes our boy character and Bill Peebles is gonna be our rabbit. Let's see how this turns out. Same story, same dialogue as before, but fair warning, this gets pretty ridiculous. You can't download these videos, so I'm gonna play them on screen. Ah! Why won't it stop chasing me? Way. Even shadows fear the light. Are you sure it's safe? Trust the path. One wrong, One wrong step. And it's over. Bravery isn't about no fear. It's about crossing anyway. Okay. If courage is out there, I'll find it. Sometimes, the darkest places hide the brightest hope. Wow. Every step feels heavier. But I can't stop now. This is not the end. This is where we ride. One step, then another. I won't give up. Keep this with you, and you'll never be alone. <laughs> 